everyone today we are going to study cocaine poisoning cocaine is derived from a plant named as erythro xylem coca so it is also known as coke crack crystal and free base the root of administration includes inhaling, also known as snorting, chewing, IV, and this inhaling is also called snorting, which means that it is applied to the nasal mucosa. The signs and symptoms include, um, first of all, it is a stimulant which becomes a depressant on the later stage. The first stage is stimulant stage, which is characterized by dryness of mouth, bitter taste, increased energy levels physically and mentally. There is increased libido. There is restlessness. There is excitation and delirium. Then the other physical effects may be hallucination, and um, flushed face dilated pupils. This can also go on towards tachycardia and hyperthermia. The stage of depression may include a feeble respiration, then there may be um, cardiac depression, you have to know that cardiopulmonary depression leads to death. That is, these are the terminal events. So it can also lead to MI and um, then coronary artery um, constriction. Okay. The next thing we need to know is that a speedball. A speedball is when heroin is mixed with cocaine to dampen it. The other thing we need to know is what is a crack house. Crack house is a something or somewhere actually, a place where cocaine is sold or smoke. The thing next we need to know is um, we, what is called a shooting star. A shooting star is a place where cocaine um, where heroin actually, heroin is sold and enjoyed. The fatal dose in, is one gram for oral administration of cocaine and the fatal period is two hours. Then there is treatment. The treatment includes that if it is given IV, then we have to apply a tourniquet if it is um, snorted, then we have to wash the nasal mucosa with warm water and or normal saline. Then there is, if it is applied, um, taken orally, we have to wash the stomach. The stomach is washed by potassium permanganate or tannic acid. Next, we have to take barbiturates haloperidol or diazepam for the seizures and coercions and hallucinations. And the, because the last event is cardiopulmonary um, depression, therefore we have to take cardiopulmonary stimulants for its treatment. Next important thing that we need to know is what is um, cocaineism. Cocaineism is something that when you take chronically cocaine, 
Um, it is characterized by blackening of teeth, of tongue, and then there may be ulceration of uh, nasal mucosa, and there may be anorexia and uh, impotency and uh, moral deprivation or insanity. In men, it may lead to sexual perversions. The main feature that we need to know about chronic cocaine poisoning is known as Magnan sign or Magnan symptoms. Magnan symptoms include that the person or the patient would think that small grains of sand or small insects, also known as cocaine bugs, are crawling under the skin of the patient. This can be treated by giving ergot, for example, bromocryptine, that is given in the dose of 0 0.625 mg, uh, 6 hourly. And uh, this can also reduce the craving of cocaine and also encounters the withdrawal symptoms. The medical legal aspects can include that um, it can use as an anesthetic, also applied on the glands, and also uh, applied by the prostitutes. This has also led to a criminal taking out of uh, criminal packaging of cocaine in breast implants and vaginas and all those stuff. But that's out of the UHS um, question bank. So these are the main important things that you need to know, which include what is it obtained from, what is it called, the uh, roots of administration, the signs and symptoms. This is a very important UQ question. And, um, and you also need to know about the chronic poisoning state, which includes all these things. You should know about the magnet symptoms. This is often asked. And uh, this is the oral uh, fatal dose and the fatal period. Thank you.